Gotta go fast. You know, for an archer, your attacks barely seem to ever involve bows. Ooh, I see. The first Phantasm circuit. Don't mind if I do. Hey, have you guys seen a Phantasm circuit around here? No, I'm not seeing it on the map anymore. How awfully queer. Hey, right, bro, do you have a phantasm circuit on you? More stuff around here, but still no phantasms. Okay, I 
see something that might be it down here. Take this bento box. Bento box. No, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. That's disappointing. Yeah, I know no. Especially since it seems nobody can do anything without me. Aggressors? I'm needing some aggressors. Oh, I want an aggressor.
Blue. Alright, well, I don't even know where this portal is. Oh, there it is. Tamamo, are you really the leader of this faction? Wow, is it that down? Join us. Just join us, we don't have a caster on our team. Archimedes doesn't count. I understand. 
It's natural. It makes perfect sense. Fun Steve McDood guy. The other me steps between the fallen caster and Sather's blade without any hesitation. They now I think I've come to understand. The fun Steve standing there truly is me. If Sather had fallen, I would have done the same thing. That's how I know for sure. That he is the other half of me, and that he truly is Caster's master. Honestly, you think with the twelfth of the lowest point. Well, I knew one thing. The other me is cool. Yo, they don't fosh me. It was fun. Kester's partner understood her needs and trusted her without hesitation. I can see the bloodlust fading from Seda's eyes. Kesta and her partner have a bond, just like Seda and I do. And just like ours, it's invisible and unbreakable. Even I couldn't cut that bond. And this is myself I'm talking about. Servant or master, servant and master, or maybe even more than that. To try and tear them apart would be boorish and wrong. That's how I see it. でも、最後に言わせてくださいね。私は幸せでした。ま、待て待て待て。こったのは世だぞ。ここは花吹雪と完成が鳴り止まぬ場面であろう。なのにどうして我が奏者と貴様の最後の告白をたっぷり見せつけられれば
失礼いたします神王レガリアの再統合にはシステムギシタル私の固有スキルが必要となりますそのためこうしてハセサンチタ次第ぶしつけをお許しいただきたいそれは構わぬが気を流行らせたか2つのレガリアを持ってすぐに戻るというのにキャスターよ依存ないな貴様のマスターはひとたび預けるが王権たるレガリアは世のものとする仕事ありませんキャスター賜物前さああなたのレガリアを速やかに神王へ渡しなさいどうかお喜びいただきたいレガリアが一つとなれば時を同じくして分かたれたあなたのマスターもおのずと一つとなりましょう消滅の危機は免れるのです今こそ神王のすべてが取り戻される時 Now she's not gonna hand it over. Nani? Sorry, I'm not gonna. Hi, Muron. Yes, Tosen no Kikets to you, Becky. The show. Mate, 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 m a t いいえ、冗談はそこまでです。大事な人が消えると分かって、誰がおとなしく従いますか。ヘクなバカ者な,なんかこう、いい感じの解決策があるはずだ。うん、な、そうでやろう、そうじゃよ。A do agree. It's best to stay calm and find an acceptable compromise. But there's a bigger issue. I can't blame Sabre or Castor for not noticing under the circumstances. I'd expect e d Archimedes to notice at least, but he must be too wrapped up in his work. That mortifying shadow creeping from behind. And、this type of baffery does not act like this. So that's just my muffled screaming. I don't know why Elizabeth Baffery here makes me so angry. Like, Nero, the characterization is weird, but fine, I don't care. Tomorrow, same, it's, it's weird, but I, I'm fine. I would cope. Elizabeth Baffery is the breaking point for me. Because she's already such an interesting character, why would you make her boring?
Okay, harsh, fun Steve Muck dude guy. It's been completely disintegrated. Half a symbol of authority over Moonstar Automaton. Gone. どう誰の目にも Stop talking. A good question. His tone is irritated, but his face is still calm. I wonder if anything could break that facade, short of what when his facade broke like five minutes ago. It's difficult to know what might be going through his head at that moment. However stoic his expression, he's certainly discouraged, and he doesn't seem to care if we know it. He must be deeply devoted to his work. 
Just as I find something to say to him, Seda quietly shushes me. I tell her it's okay, that everything will be alright. I have no way of backing that up. ことをするとしよう。いつまでもここにとどまる理由もない。歩き目です。学士殿。ショックなのはわかるが、災害にするがよ。まずは世の自陣へ戻るぞ。あれこれと起こってしまったことは。もはや仕方ない。事前の策を勝手。なぜ。セラフの統一が果たされたことは事実。そう悲惨にくれるのは早いぞ。これは決してラクタン混じりの期間などではない。孫を異なき外戦だ。胸を張り。This guy. No, my intuition tells me it's not this guy. It's not this guy. The world is about to break. Right here, right now. Oh, I didn't think you were being literal. You were being literal. Oh hey, it's that person. Does she need a coat? Archimedes, offer her your coat. Beyond the break in the world is a pitch black dimension, impossible to see through until an ominous light surges forward. A different class of hostile program? Or are they programs at all? I understand at once. They are broken programs. They are diseased, unable to function as they once did. All they do is run and run and run until their bodies crumble and break. They are the embodiment of destruction, and I can only imagine how many lives they've already destroyed. They cannot be allowed within Sarafa. They are an incurable disease, a poison that kills life, a predatory virus leeching off the world itself. They are void cells. It's no use. Sabo and I both reach out to him, but neither of us have any chance of grabbing him in time. The army of destruction rains down onto Seraphar's soil and consumes Archimedes whole. I have a sickening feeling that both of us are next. That feeling. What happens next feels almost like a dream. All at once the army halts. Apparently they are taking orders from the maiden in white. The maiden in. Wait, she looks exactly like that incredibly distinctive person I dreamed about, and it's taken me this long to realize it. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. I'm 
私は破壊である星より降りて蹂林を果たさんとするものであるShe swings her sword, and afterwards nothing remains. Nothing. As if she shared, that's a shared, a whole dimension away from existence. A fairy type? A dragon fairy jewel type? I can hear the amazement in Seda's voice. She thought she was a Pokemon master, but this is on a whole nother level. She is impressed and surprised, but there's something darker in her voice as well. Something like fear. Fear that we've been recording this part for an hour and twenty minutes. Our eyes meet. There I am, face to face with a maiden who cuts away realities. Ah, and they realize something. I do know her. I've seen her before. I remember now that episode. Yes, 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 yes. I, I know. I, I, I'm a moron. I've never met her, not truly. I shouldn't know her, but I can say her name. The Sword of Mars. The scourge of God. Wherever her home might be, it must be close to the throne of heaven. Her name is... Altera. Is this another me? Uh, something does indeed lurk in the darkness beyond the Dracom world. At first I can't see its face, but the clothing is a dead giveaway. I hear its voice. This was not what we agreed to, Walter. Please, curb your destructive impulses for just a bit. Save is right. The voice does sound like me. If I recorded myself and played it back, that's exactly what I would sound like. An idiot. And that voice's owner is standing right next to Alterra, as you can see. It's a strange life I live, where I see a duplicate of myself standing next to a potential enemy, and my first thought is, ah, this again. Yeah, she is certainly surprised and confused. But again, I still sense that same fear as well. There is no fear in the other me, only calm, analytical interest. His body language is clear. He carries himself with unquestioning fealty towards Altera. The other me, my reflection, hoots both affinity and hostility. He gives Sailor a curious look. Do you recognize Saber? I ask. No, I've never seen her before. 
I can feel sleep is sore. No matter what the circumstances, the image of me giving that cold and different look is unbearable to her. I remember she told me she was heartbroken once before. I can imagine her pain. So... しかし、そんなたはそれすらないと Fight, 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 fight. Price damage the ability to wrap that way. Fuck that one up myself. Oh, we're back here now, apparently. Who knew? Okay. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. See you soon.